I'm Dan. And I'm Michelle, and today I want to talk to you about the most amazing all-you-can-eat buffet at the most beautiful resort surrounded by the most amazing and lustrous nature. Wow, that sounds incredible. Uh, I'm not sure we're on the same page though. What are we talking about? Heaven! Think about it. When you think something is amazing, you'll easily say it's like heaven, right? And to me, all of those things are like heaven. So since we're talking about heaven today, I'd like to think that heaven would kind of be like this. Yeah, we are talking about heaven today. And since you already have some of these ideas, let's see what the Bible has to say about heaven. Let's watch this God story. Did you know that a cat has 32 muscles in each ear? Hi, I'm Michaela, and it's nice to see you again. So when I was in grade 12, I went on a school trip to France and Belgium. And one of the places that we ended up going was Paris. Now I'd read a lot about Paris and I'd seen movies about Paris, but actually going there was so incredible. And it's one of those places where you can read all about it, but you can't actually experience it without actually going there. From the quaint little shops to the, the romance in the air and getting to climb the Eiffel Tower, it was just such an incredible experience. So, the big question for today is, what is heaven going to be like? Now, the reason I told you my Paris story is because Paris was so much better than what I ever expected it to be. And I think that that is what heaven is going to be like. So going back to heaven, nobody really knows what it's going to be like. But I believe that it is going to be better than I could ever imagine. So like I said, nobody fully knows what heaven's going to look like, but there are references throughout the Bible which show a little piece of what it will look like. Let's look at Colossians 3. You have been raised up with Christ. So think about things that are in heaven. That is where Christ is. He is sitting at God's right hand. Think about things that are in heaven. Don't think about things that are only on earth. You died. Now your life is hidden with Christ in God. Christ is your life. When he appears again, you also will appear with him in heaven's glory. So, in this quick glimpse, we see that Jesus Christ is seated at God's right hand side. And I imagine these beautiful and royal thrones that they're sitting in. The passage also tells us to not worry about the earthly things. And these are things like getting as much money as you can or collecting the newest clothes or the newest technologies, but to focus on the heavenly things, the things that really matter. Let's see what else the Bible has to say about what heaven will be like. Now we're gonna jump into 2 Corinthians chapter five. We know that the earthly tent we live in will be destroyed, but we have a building made by God. It is a house in heaven that lasts forever. Human hands did not build it. During our time on earth, we groan. We long to put on our house in heaven as if it were clothing. Then we will not be naked. While we live in this tent of ours, we groan under our heavy load. We don't want to be naked. Instead, we want to be fully dressed with our house in heaven. What must die will be swallowed up by life. God has formed us for that very purpose. He has given us the Holy Spirit as a down payment. The Spirit makes us sure of what is still to come. In other words, our earthly tent, our bodies will die, but in heaven, we will be given new bodies and bodies made by God. In this tent, in our bodies, we groan under the heavy load. Life can be difficult sometimes, but in our heavenly bodies, everything will be wonderful. The Holy Spirit living in us is a down payment. It's a promise that will absolutely come true. In our heavenly bodies, everything is going to be wonderful and great. To see more of what heaven will be like, we're going to look in Revelations. Now I'm just letting you know, Revelations can be a little bit strange. There's a lot of symbolism in it. And so it's okay to sometimes ask, what does this mean? Now let's look at what John had to say in Revelations 4. At once the Holy Spirit gave me a vision. There in front of me was a throne in heaven with someone sitting on it. The one who sat there shone like jasper and ruby. Around the throne was a rainbow shining like an emerald. Okay, wow, that is beautiful imagery and it sounds magnificent. Next, John says that there are 24 thrones around the one throne with 24 elders. And the elders are wearing white robes and a gold crown. Then from the throne, there were flashes of lightning and there were lamps in front of the throne. 
We're also told that there was something like a sea of glass in front of the throne that was crystal clear. Then, around the throne, closer to the throne, there were these four creatures that had eyes from the back to the front of them. The first one looked like a lion, the second looked like an ox, the third one had the face of a human, and the fourth one looked like an eagle. And they each had six wings on them. And they said, holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And while they were doing this, the elders fell on their knees in worship. Now this is an incredible scene that shows what heaven will be like. And even though it's just a glimpse, it makes us excited for the beauty and wonder that heaven is. Later on in Revelations 21, it said that there will be a new heaven and a new earth. And I don't know what this will look like, but what I do know is that we will be in heaven and it will be magnificent. And that's it for me today. I'm Michaela, and I'll see you around. Game time. Stampede. Can you say the key verse before the stampede ends? Get ready. Three, two, one, go. with me. Let us consider how we can stir up one another to love. Let us help one another to do good works. Hebrews 10 verse 24. So I was hoping for some more concrete facts about heaven, but I think knowing that Jesus prepared the way for us and that he'll be sat at the right hand of God actually makes me think it's gonna be incredible. Yeah, we heard about the thrones, the crowns, the creatures that be worshiping God nonstop, but I wanna focus on that. I wanna focus on what it would be like to be in God's presence. Yeah, let's check in with Jacob, Natalie, and our friends around the campfire. They actually had a really good discussion about heaven. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the campfire. It's good to be with you again. Natalie and I are here to answer more of your questions. So what are you curious about? Where's heaven? Whew, that is like the question that everybody in history wants to know. It's like, where is heaven? <laughs> heaven is something that Jesus actually talked about a lot. He talked about it like this. He called it the kingdom of heaven. He also talked about it as the kingdom of God, but both of them are kind of the same thing. So in, when Jesus was on earth, um, recorded in the gospels, that's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, we actually hear the idea of the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God over 145 times. So obviously Jesus was talking about it a lot, but I gotta tell you something, he never really answered the where is heaven question. He did tell us that the kingdom of heaven is where God's way rules. So there's this prayer that we pray sometimes and it says, um, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And guess what? When we do God's will, it's like we're kind of bringing the kingdom of heaven to earth. And so, the truth is that someday we'll kind of find out where heaven really is. But for now, we can kind of bring heaven, we can bring the kingdom of God to people wherever we go when we act like we're doing the will of God here on earth. So where's heaven? It's where God is. It's where his way is um, the thing that we do. But other than that, I can't tell you if it's this way, that way, this way, that way, I don't know but we do know it's where God is king. What is heaven gonna be like? Wow, well, we don't know for sure, but 
At the very end of the Bible, there's a book called Revelation. It's kind of like revealation. It's a little sneak preview of what's ahead. And God gives a vision to one of his followers named John. And if you read through it, there's all sorts of images of what heaven looks like. But the biggest number one thing is that God is there. Personally, it's like a veil comes off and we can see, wow, God is right here. And so heaven is where God is near. And there's all sorts of pictures. You know, when I was little, I thought it was just like clouds. But if you read the Bible, it says that it's like a city, a giant city with people from every country. And there's music and there's a ton of food and everyone's like being together and worshiping. And it also says that there's like trees and rivers too. And one of the most beautiful pictures is that it says God will wipe every tear from our eyes. All of the hurt, all of the bad things, God wipes away and that's what heaven is. Do you guys remember riding the horses today? That was so good. And when we think about heaven, it's kind of like, like you know, we can, at the beginning, we just looked in the stable, we look in the field and see the horses and they're kind of far away and you're imagining like, oh, what's it gonna be like? But even just looking at them, like, wow, that is beautiful. That is majestic, that's amazing. And then what we got to do today is actually go and, and get on the horse and ride. And it was just incredible and so much fun and so amazing. And that's like heaven right now. We see it from far away and we say, oh, that's, that's gonna be beautiful. But then when we're with God, when we're like riding horses and doing amazing stuff, that's gonna be like so much better and it's gonna blow our mind. Thanks so much for your questions and I look forward to seeing you again. I didn't realize that we hear about the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven so many times in the gospels. Did Natalie say over 145 times? Yeah, she did. Wow. I think it's incredible that it's gonna be this giant city full of people and food and music and trees and that there'll be joy because God's there. Yeah, it's like how you asked me at the beginning of the series why I love the campfire so much and I said it's because friends are there, we're talking and sharing and even having s'mores. I feel like heaven would just be like that. Yeah, I think all of those are great ways of explaining what heaven is gonna be like, but it'll be even better than that. Let's break up into our small groups and see what this looks like in our own lives.